All right, let's get started. Okay, did everybody finish the homework from yesterday? All right, let's move on now. I'm sure you've heard of formulas from geometry. There are three we're going to discuss today. The first one is parameter, then area, last one is volume. Let's take a look at parameter. Does anybody know what the parameter formula is used for? Good. Anybody want to add to that? Here's an example of what parameter could be used for. We have this large room. Say this side is 15 feet wall to wall. That one is 10 feet. That side 15 and 10 on that side too. If you all add all four of those together, you get the parameter. So in real life, it could be used on a farm. So say we're playing, what, what could it be used on a farm for? Okay, a fence, good job. So we have to measure each of the sides to figure out how big the fence we need is. So we buy the correct length of parts for the fence and come back and build it. See, that's very important. Now what about area? Do we need to use the formula for area for the fence? No, parameter, because it's outside that we're measuring. Now what about area? What do we use the formula of area for? Good. So for our carpet that covers the mid middle part of the room, we would need to find out the area. Okay. We could use it to measure a carpet. Would it be used for anything else? Yes, perhaps laying seats. We have to figure out how many we would need. Good job. The tiles in the room. Yeah, we would need it to figure out how many tiles we need to cover the room. Good job. Smart. Very smart, you guys. Yes, perhaps for a roof. Multiply to see how big a roof cover we need. Now what about volume? Finding the volume, what would that be used for? Alright, so if we have a box with length and width, but it also has height to fill it. So how much would fill in that box? Good job. Very good. Alright, so parameter uses length and width, how wide something is, and how long something is. See that's the length, width, on the sides, length on the bottom. Each sides are the same, left and right and up and down. See that here? And you add each of the sides together to get the parameter. I'm going to erase the pluses now because we know what to do. There's different ways of figuring out parameter. See what I have written here? Another possible way is to multiply. Do you guys know how to do this here? Any questions? Another way, right here, I'll write down the equation. It means the same thing as just another way. Anybody know of any other ways? Thank you. All three of those mean the same exact thing. You'll get the same answer. Alright, moving on. So parameters, all the sides added together. Area is the middle. How we figure it out? We multiply length times width. Any other ways? Mm. So parameter we have three ways but you can only multiply to find the area. So say 
the length is 5 feet and the width is 3 feet. Here's an example. What, what would the area be? 15. Is that it? Do we forget one? Ah, we forgot something. Squared. Area is squared. Do you know why? Because there's two lengths to multiply the sides and two sides of the width. So it is always squared. Now volume, we have length, we have width, and we also have height. You multiply all those together? And do you think there's any other ways? Nope. So there's no other ways. You just multiply length, width, height. Unlike parameter, you have three different ways. Area, you only have one, just like volume. Only one way. I'll show you an example here. Let's find parameter for this rectangle here. What do you get? 16? How did you get that? You added everything together? Good, yes. Sixteen feet is the answer. Now how about the area for this rectangle? Three feet by five feet. Multiply them together. You get fifteen. Thank you, yes. Squared because there's two sides of each. Okay, next one here. Let's find the volume of this cube. Mm -hmm. Length, width, height. You multiply them together. What's, what's the number of the length? Where do you find that? Very good. So we trade the owl length here. We see it as a five. Mm-hmm. We're trading this here for a 3 and sw switching the x out, the h out, for a 6. Now the word for it is subtraction. You sub something out just like when, I'm sorry, sub you sub something out, just like when a player is injured, you swap them out for somebody on the bench. This is the same type of thing we're doing here. So 5 times 3 times 6. You gotta be skilled. You don't need to use a calculator. Yeah. Alright, let's see. So we get 90 centimeters here. Cubed, yes, thank you. Why cubed? Mm -hmm, because there's three sides. Very good. 